Fox, an American actor, once said, Our self-expression is meant to be the manifestation of the silence of our hearts. So in here, what am I trying to say? Oh well, I'm just saying that language is an art form. Through language, we can communicate. And through communication, we can express ourselves. But the question is, how are we going to express ourselves? Come on, stick around and let's talk about figure self-speech. By the way, my name is Pressy and welcome to Can I Talk Academy. Okay, so before we talk about figures of speech, let's understand first the difference between literal and figurative language. Okay, let's take a look at this situation. Tina's sitting on the fence. So here's Tina and here's the fence. And she's actually sitting on the fence. So in here, this is the literal meaning. On the other hand, let's talk about Tina's being undecided. Let's say you ask her if she's in favor or against something. So in here, she's undecided. She can choose if she's for or against something. She can seem to choose a side. So, this is the figurative language that I'm talking about, meaning she's undecided. Okay, so you see, if you read something that has literal meaning, word means what you really want to say. But, oftentimes, we're more on figurative language. So, in here, you have to interpret. So, what are figures of speech? Figures of speech are expressions that mean something different from the literal meaning. So in other words, if you say something but you don't mean it literally, you're using figures of speech. Okay, so let's now move on to our first example. Simile. What is a simile? Simile is a comparison of two ideas or things using the words like and as. For example, the dog is like a tornado. In here, the dog is compared to a tornado, wherein, just like the tornado, it, it destroys everything that it touches. Second example, John is as slow as a snail. So in here, John is being compared to a snail. And we all know that snail is common for their slow pace. So figuratively you say, John is a snail. Another thing here is that sometimes figures of speech is a bit obscure. For example, he's thick as a brick, meaning he's unreasonable. So see, it's obscure. We don't even know what does it mean. But in this scenario, you just have to go back to the past or what we call history. See, it's as tricky as a labyrinth. Okay, next example is the metaphor. Just like the simile, you're comparing two things, but you omit the words like and as. So it implies that the things you compare has the same quality or trait. For example, you're my sunshine. In here, you're not a ray of light, but you have an uplifting effect. Next example, my brother is boiling mad. This implies that he's too angry. Another one is, my friend has a heart of gold. Heart of gold means he's kind and generous. So now, please look around you. It's going to be clear skies from now on. Okay, let's, not, let's now have our third example. Personification. When you say personification, it occurs when you give life to something that is not living. So you know, you give life to something. Personification. So they're not breathing, but you tend to give them life. For example, the trees were dancing in the breeze. Well, trees don't dance, but humans do. So in here, dancing means they're moving back and forth. Okay, next example is the leaves are waving. 
Well, leaves don't wave, but they are being moved by the wind. So let's go back to reality. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, fourth example is the hyperbole. So when I say hyperbole, it's derived from the Greek word meaning overcasting. In another term, we say exaggeration. So why do we need to exaggerate? This is to show emphasis. For example, I can say, I am so sleepy, I can sleep forever. Well, basically, you cannot sleep forever. But you can just use this word forever to show emphasis. Okay, so next example is, I have million things to do today. Million here means, I have a lot of things to do. So I just said million just to emphasize. So these days, I'm trying to solve a million issues. Okay, and last but not the least, let's talk about irony. Irony is a figure of speech in which words are used in such a way that their intended meaning is different from the meaning of the actual words. In simple words, the difference is seen between appearance and reality. For example, brilliant, I've been fired. Well, we all know that being fired doesn't give you a good feeling. So the phrase is an irony. Next example is water, water, everywhere, nor any drop to drink. So ironically, there is water everywhere, but no drinkable water. Okay, so for our last example, the teacher fails the test. So in here, usually teachers are the one making tests rather than taking them. So they assume or people expect them to have a high score. So in here, it's an irony. The teacher fails the test. Okay, so that's all for today. But to remind you, you should always pay attention when people are using literal language or figures of speech. And now that you know the difference between literal and figurative language, comment your favorite figures of speech. And until next time, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye!